we have already seen the variational principle actually uh, what we have seen is Hamilton's principle. Now Hamilton's principle says that you write Lagrangian which is a function of say y, y dot and t and then you integrate over t that gives you a quantity j. If you demand that integration is stationary over the right path then that leads to the equation of motion. Now the arguments that we followed earlier could be applied to a, any generic function. So for example we have a function f which is a, a function of y, y dot and x and integrated over x. Remember x is playing the role of earlier time. So this is independent variable and y is the coordinate. So as said this is basically a 1D problem. Now this integral if we demand this to be stationary over the correct path then this is the equation of the correct path. Just like we got it for the Lagrangian here we have del f del y minus d d x of del f del y dot. That's simple. We apply this. This is actually the variational principle. So if you have a function and if you demand that its integration is stationary for a certain trajectory then this is the equation of this trajectory. That is basically the uh, working principle of variational principle. Now what we look at is the Brachistochron problem or minimum time problem. The problem is extremely easy to state. Suppose this is a wire, uh, a wire along which this bead is moving under gravity. So if we just let it go it will follow this uh, path. So bead sliding down a wire from A to B and find the shape of wire. I mean we have to find the right shape such that it takes minimum time to go from A to B. So time of journey should be minimum and we have to find a path for that, a shape for that. So how do we do that? Well, let's define this is y and this is x. It's a non-standard definition to make mathematics easier. Now uh, for a line segment ds along the length, time it takes to move uh, ds amount is ds by v that is dt. So total time from a to b is t a b is just integration a to b ds by v. But for this problem half mv square is equal to mgx and v is uh, then to, to, to root over 2gx okay. And what is uh, ds line segment? It's nothing but dx square plus dy square, which uh, in calculus we have seen that this can be written as 1 plus dy dx whole square and dx. So we substitute that, we say y dot is dy dx. So what we got is 1 plus y dot square divided by 2gx is dx. So these, now we identify the function f of the earlier principle that it should be a function of y, y dot and x. We identify that function to be 1 plus y dot square divided by x and we are taking the square root of the whole. Then the equation of motion is straightforward. We just substitute the values to get something like uh, y dot equal to square root of x divided by 2a minus x. This equation uh, in integrated form is y equal to 0 to x and then uh, whatever we put this argument. In a parametric form it is it looks simpler. We can choose x to be a into 1 minus cos theta and then y automatically becomes a times theta minus sin theta. If you plot x and y using uh, the parametric form, I remember this is y and this is x, what you get is a form of a cycloid. The form of a cycloid is not something new to us, it is basically if you choose a hook or a wheel 
and choose a point on the hoop on the periphery of the hoop let's say here is the wheel and the lowermost point the point of contact i choose i designate that to be p now if wheel is moving and the p goes up so p is getting up then it goes to the topmost point of the wheel uh, up some, at some distance and then it goes down and touches the ground again and so on and so forth this particular curve is basically the cycloid the same curve i mean so it's a very famous problem i mean earlier people were looking at i mean how we can define a shape along which the journey is minimal so um, cycloid is a the solution and we got this shape using variational principle this is a standard example there are other problems particularly in goldstein where you can find the uh, minimum time it takes i mean the correct path from going from one point to another on a plane when there are no external force it is as you expect a straight line so those problems you can look from i mean check from goldstein 